All right, so here's how to make proxies. If you're wanting to make a proxy, then that says to me you might be new to editing, which also means there's a good chance you don't have a powerful computer yet. So editing with proxies is gonna be your best friend to being able to cope with bigger files without your computer chugging and Premiere crashing on you, which is a nightmare, I've been there. So you're gonna to wanna to select the clips in your project panel that you wanna make proxies for. Right click on those selected clips and choose proxy. Then go create proxies. Choose the proxy format that you want and preset in the create proxies window. Choosing a format like H.264 or ProRes is really common. And then just go low resolution or, or you can create a custom. Set the proxy destination. I always like to go next to the original media. Keeps it simple, you can always find it. Then start proxy creation, click OK. And Adobe Media Encoder will open up to process the proxies. Just wait for the encoding to complete. Then enable proxies in Premiere Pro. In the program monitor, click the toggle proxies button. If the button isn't visible, click the plus button to add it up here. Now when you toggle proxies on and off, Premiere will use the smaller proxy files instead of the full resolution media, making playback so much smoother and faster. You're welcome. If you found this video handy, let me know and I'll make more of them. And maybe hit the like button to know I'm doing a good job. <gasps>